from Shiba and I'm Felix Baby. Together, we are your host on Niger Trend. Niger Trend is an exclusive to the gallery studio. And here, you get to watch our street chat on hot and spicy topics that is trending on social media for the week. And you, our viewers, get to join in and share your views with that to the rest of the South Join us every Wednesday. As we give you the pleasure of enjoying great entertainment, trending information, it's a conversation all packed in one. Shiva, I can't wait. No, we like baby. Thank you. Yeah. My beautiful co host with me in the person of. He likes baby. He likes baby. How is baby? Uh -huh. Happy Shiba. International <laughs> Women's Day. Yeah. Okay, because of March. Eight, right, yes, right? We, we, we are still celebrating right now. Yeah, and like and you said, don't forget that this is my month. So, hey, are you are the Pisces, right? Hey, no. <laughs> Pisces girls, bro. They always walk. They always walk. Welcome to the Niger trend. And are you happy to be on the show today? Let me be. I'm excited because we are going to discuss on something that I really have a lot of interest in. And I hope yes, you're excited yes, as I am. yes. I'm um, so much. In fact, I've been looking forward to this day. Like, <laughs> I can't just wait. And thank God today is here. Yeah, so now uh, uh, we have um, to go to the program. We have a very let's say learned guest, intelligent guest. Yes. Ah, somebody that might even steal the show from us. But in fact, we just have to wait. When we come back from this break, we'll be introducing our topic for the day. So please stay tuned. It's still nine. In life. You can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out here, Udra. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man is just being kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pen. Will he succeed? Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank. Welcome back, and if you're just joining in, the program is still Niger Trends. Where we give you the hottest days, and today hot with three different topics, different topics of interest that will interest you and also keep you entertained. Let's be their mind on the same page. Uh -uh, why not? You are always on point. <laughs> so today's topic for so the topic for today's program is quality of a potential spouse. And um, it is maybe what brought about this topic was yes. some a couple of months ago, I think precisely before the coronavirus lockdown, I think in February 2020. 2020. Last year. Yes, I, I happened to go for I, I attended a, a production, um, a kind of a production, a production for a program, and then um, I met a young lady in that production, and then there was this young guy among the production crew that was asking us out. Okay, and after the production, you know, you make friends now. Uh, yes, yeah, sure. So on our way, um, in going home, oh, going back home in the in the commercial vehicle. I was asking her, oh, that guy is a social media. Ah, yes, so I said, okay, that, well, what, 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 do you like the guy? What's your take on the guy and all of that? Hey, the guy is cool, but the guy has not met one of our criteria. Like, I don't understand. Criteria about certain what is it? Is it interview? She says that um, she asked him to declare his statement about I don't understand what. I said, wait, babe. Wait, Shiba, 
come again and this is this this is live this is a conversation i had with a, a lady like myself mm-hmm. and i went back and i said babe i don't understand what you mean by statement of account as i said it's statement of his bank account of his which bank one account, the account of his bank account okay and, and i was she, like very patient i was like babe i don't understand she said ah that for her because she goes into a relationship with any guy the first thing they have to tell her is how much they have in their account and proof of that is the amount they Wait, have the in girl you're talking about who she be she be your third dollar daughter i'm um, a very regular girl like you and i so and, but, but yes, baby this now put a question in my heart what really should women look for in a potential spouse? okay because that's a good question you find that what you are thinking is basically not what many people out there yes, are thinking sure. you understand so for someone to be telling me she wants to know how much is in the guy's account, account. before she even has accepts his proposal wait sir she but sorry to push you wait in our own account sir she will want to know what's in the inside a guy's account so what's in our own account at least our own account should be speaking in billions yes, baby. i think when she said that thing i was silent because a lot was going through my mind i really wanted to understand what really is going through her mind what really well, I, I, I really can't play football. I think our guest in the house is in the best. It has to be the two entire meal. And I can't really play football. But I think our guest in okay. the house is going to yeah, sure. do justice to this, to this topic. topic. And then got this before we come back, next baby and I will be producing our guest. Please go away. Yeah, we will be back. In life, you can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out your withdrawal. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man has just been kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pin. Will he succeed? Do not share your card pin with anyone. Keep your account information private and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank. program is still niger trends and i have my beautiful elect baby here with me yeah and the program to talk about the topic if you're just joining me the program is still niger trends sure. and the topic for today is quality of a potential spouse and the first to discuss on this topic is uh and some <laughs> <laughs> we just we just ran <laughs> oh, 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 the person of Mr. Babajide Ekundayo, you are welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir, to the program. Thank How you. do you feel in the midst of two beautiful women? Well, I'm sure you are feeling flat. Uh, firstly, let me uh, welcome everybody to Niger Trends. <laughs> and of course, uh, I think this is the first show you're having uh, after the celebration of International Women's Day. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, greetings all every woman out there, most especially the fans and lovers of your show yeah that's happy international women's day and i'm glad to be on niger trends today as a guest thank you you're welcome you're welcome you're very very much welcome mr ikunda you know today's topic is like you know is that we're talking on the qualities of a potential spouse and not to open the floor let me be i think it would be right right yes. for us to know who a potential, potential spouse is, is. okay uh, thank you very much you know uh, a potential spouse is someone who uh you as a lady or as a man you're both checking each other trying to see if this person meets up with my with my uh, responsibility with my assignment in life if this person is actually fit for me to spend the rest of my life with do you understand so that is what a potential in view someone you are looking up to someone you are you are anticipating that one day, if oh, God permits, if, God, if time permits, that we'll be getting married. Okay. You know, that's why I said that you want to spend the rest of your life with. 
So that's a potential husband or a potential spouse. Yeah. Okay. Now, taking on the note of what you told us to be of who a potential spouse is, now, what are the qualities we should look out for? Okay. Uh, thank you very much for this question. You know, many a times, especially with the young people that just are coming up and then trying to come into marriage. Yeah. We discovered that most of the times we don't pay attention to details in relationship. Yeah. Yes. You know, because we are sometimes overwhelmed with love and the, the relationship activities. You know, so we don't pay attention to details. Mm -hmm. You know, I will just give you there are many qualities that there are many qualities or characteristics of a potential husband or potential spouse. Mm -hmm. But because I'm a man, I'm going to be speaking for my gender. And of course, my discussion is going to cut across all genders as it were. Oh, right. You know, uh, a potential spouse, one of the things that you must look out for in a potential spouse, number one, the priority he or she must fear God. You know, even the Bible says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. wisdom you yeah. know, so a potential, someone that you want to spend the rest of your life with must fear God, must have the fear of fear God, God in his heart. And secondly, secondly, the second thing you should look out for in a potential spouse yeah. is that he or she must have reverence for his, reverence for his spirit. He, must, he or she must have regard for his spirit. Okay. You know, if you go out with someone who does not regard his spirit, who does not regard her parents, such marriage will suffer. Because for someone to have not had any reference for his or her parents, so for, who are you? For what, part, what particular thing are you really looking at when you say regard for parents? parents. Okay, let's look at it from this angle. Do you know, many a times as humans, sometimes we are, we are configured to mostly appreciate what we see. Yes. You know, so sometimes when what you expect is not there, you tend not to probably give that person that good credit. Do you understand? Yes. Now, what do I mean by regard for parents? You know, irrespective of stature, irrespective of position, irrespective of either they have or they don't have, irrespective of either they care that for you where you are where in need or yes. not, it is not your responsibility as a child to apportion blame on your parents. Okay. So no matter what they've done right or wrong, it is against your destiny as a child to say that my dad or my mom, you are wrong. And to that effect, it's now, it's now showing in the reaction of how you treat them. So, so in a way, are you trying to say that a person who doesn't treat these or her parents well, well yeah. with respect is not likely to treat it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not likely. It's not a matter of uh, uh, possibility. Such okay. person would not value you. That's okay. the truth. That's the truth. He will not value you. Because it is more dangerous to go into a relationship, a marriage with that person. You know, and that is why I said that in a relationship, you must open your eyes. I do tell people that I don't fall in love. When you fall in love, uh, you make many mistakes. You know, when you fall, it's not easy for you to rise again. So, in other words, are you trying to say you shouldn't love a person? I, I don't know okay. if you get what I'm No, especially like we ladies that we are too emotional. Okay, that's why I said don't fall in love. I would always advise everyone to grow in love. Okay. You know, when you grow, growth has a, a, a process, okay. you know. So, when you grow to a certain stage, you know that, okay, this thing is right, this thing is not right. No. But when you just find yourself in the midst of things that you are not prepared for, it affects your outreach, it affects the way you reason, it affects your but thinking. But there should be a spark at the beginning. Well, what I'm trying to let you know here is uh, when you go out with someone, uh, you have someone as a, as a prospect, as a prospective spouse. spouse. Uh, it is important that you pay attention to details. Don't, don't be over, overwhelmed with love, with sweet words, with attention, with cares and all that. Those things are permeable in relationship. But what, what is most important is how you sustain the marriage, which is the home. Okay. Do you understand? Yes. So when you, when you pay most, more attention or much attention to the ecstasies you see in a relationship, to the feelings, to the... Uh, to the to the to the beautiful things that happen, sweet words and all that. When those things blindfold you to an extent that you are not seeing some special things that you should pay attention to, it is dangerous. So knowing a, a serious and a potential spouse as a person that wants to know, okay. you should pay attention okay. to so, details. Now my own question is this: 
Aldo, you said we should not fall in love, mm -hmm. but we should grow in love. Yeah. So our viewers at all want to know how to grow in love. In love okay. Yeah. Now, how do we grow? What do I mean by growing in love? Okay, let, let's take it from this perspective that you want to grow in love and you don't want to fall in love. Okay, someone meets you now. I, I overheard, I was not, I, I overheard the story that we were sharing before yeah, yeah. I came on the show. Yeah. You know, if someone that you want to marry, you're trying to check, oh, this person, the person has in do you, does the person yeah. have this, does the person this, all this and that. So it shows that you are not ready, it shows that you're not serious, it shows that you are look, what you are looking for is beyond the reasonable man. man. What you are looking for is beyond a reasonable a man of integrity. Okay. So if the man steals or if the man does any illegal things to get all those things so that we are expecting, expecting, so it's none of your business, your business. Because what's most important to you at that time is what he has. You understand? So what I mean by you growing in love is get someone that, although sometimes I've been in the midst of discussions that people say uh, it's not until you there are some people that they are blessed before coming into relationship and all it happens yeah. but it is important that you know where that person is coming, coming from. from yes it is important that you know, you know the, the genesis the source of the the the, of the, the person's world yes so that but when you just yeah, when all the beautiful things you see are what entices you and you are not you are you, are, you could not reason straight again yeah then if you fall in love, if you check it, there is something you love, not that person. Not the but person there is now a particular thing uh, that the person you're, you're, has. You, exactly. you said something about paying attention to details. And this brings me into, I like to draw this into two. Basic details. Basic details. And, and, uh, and details that will help you, maybe probably when you guys take the relationship to the next level. And when I say basic details, a lady was telling someone, the next lady, a lady was telling someone, and she said, the, the lady asked her, when, when, when is your guy born? The birthday month of your guy. The birthday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't understand. You don't know. No, what? His birthday. His birthday. Not even that of his mom. His birthday. A guy you are dating. You don't know. When we come back from this break, I guess you'll be letting us know the exact what are those he said he said details, pay attention to details. So when we are back from this break, we'll be knowing what the details exactly is. Right? Let's be yes, don't know where. So we'll be right back. It is here again. Are you an artist looking for a place to produce and promote your musical videos? Or a content creator in need of a platform to air your program? The Gallery TV got you covered. At the gallery, we provide world-class production services. Such as event coverage, promotion and production of musical videos, studio rental, live streaming of events. We also provide airtime for your program on all our platforms. These and lots of other interesting packages, all at an affordable price with a 10% discount. For more details, you can visit us on our website at the www.thegallerytv or on our social media platforms at The Gallery TV on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The Gallery TV, we set the pace. In life, you can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon, Mama. Uh, let me help you out here. You don't need to stress yourself. Thank you. But I can handle it myself. The man has just been kind, right? He just wants to help, right? Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pin. Will he succeed? Ah! <laughs> oh, what's my ID found? I see him. Oh, nah. Sorry. Do not share your card pin with anyone, keep your account information private, and ensure no one is watching you while you enter your pin. UBA, Africa's global bank. Welcome back and welcome back. If you're just joining, the program is still Niger Trends, and I have my handsome guest in the house alongside my beautiful co-host, Lex Bibi. Yes, and we are still yeah. talking on the qualities of a potential spouse. Now, before we went on that break, our guest kept on saying details, details, 
now i'm saying i think that i would like you to shed more light on what i talk extensively on what are those details before you just say details so people don't really understand what these details are yes, so what would i to like yes yeah, lead to these details what are these things that people should you know pay attention to in a relationship all right uh thank you very much thank you for thank you for having me again you know uh talking about paying attention to details uh, there are many things that we had of course the time will not permit us to exhaust the, the those, those points but firstly let me tell you that uh, you are in a relationship with someone and the person has never seen anything good about you you don't understand every time you, this that he always complains about you he complains about your attitude he complains about your that means you should ask yourself this question that what are you letting go for me do you understand mm -hmm. so if the love is about sacrifice so if such person is not willing or she's not willing to let go of okay. something okay. to keep your relationship okay. not just to let it go because you want to win your heart or because you want to have you but to let it go sincerely and genuinely there are some times that you can inconvenience yourself to to accommodate someone yeah. just to show that you love so it so, so it's, it's, it's something that you must pay attention, attention to. to and there is another the another one is you know many people they want you to do do as i say they don't want your opinion cannot count no. in discussion yeah, so this is this is how it should be do it like this you know and that authoritative uh, authoritative yeah, yes that, that we can move this thing to this place and still give us the same the same the same uh, the same result and this person is saying no you have to do it this way it has to be my way so if you if you're in a relationship with someone who wants it done he, in, in his, his way. or a way there is a serious details that you must pay attention to because in that marriage you are not going to have any say you're just going to be like a slave another thing that i always advise people to pay attention to is for instance you're in a relationship with someone and he raises his voice or her voice at you okay. at any slight provocation when you get married that person will one day mistakenly slap you and he's going to apologize that day what well, that person is going to seriously be mad at you and is going to you know the first he comes to do is to say honey i'm sorry <laughs> but the mark will always be there you know pay attention to details you know that this person works in a particular place and you know you know, okay, the, it, it, it takes two hundred thousand as salary, and at the end of the month, it doesn't. You don't. You cannot ask Shani, how did you spend the your salary? The, we, as, as, as at the last time I checked, we have two hundred thousand in our account, right. and now you are telling me it's what is there now is just ten thousand naira. You know, he is not able to give you. This is this, it's not accountable. Account. So anytime you ask, how do you do? How do you go about this thing? It turns it to some to, to violent. It turns it. What, what do you mean? Do you want to question me? Don't it's I have rights to do? You know, it's my money. Yeah, the concept, the idea of it's my money, something that you should look out for. And like I said, you need to know how. If you are a lady, you have a you have a guy you're going out with. You need to know how the person perspective to your gender. So okay. you're, you're as a male, as a female, you need to know you? how does your partner view your gender. So if your partner as a male views your, if as a male, as a lady now, you have a, someone you want to marry, you're yes. proposing marriage. So if the person views your gender as this gender, they don't have sense. They don't have this. They, when they, they, some, some men believe that when ladies talk, don't take it seriously. Do you understand that yeah. ladies, uh, just, just they like don't take uh, their thoughts, yes, like, that's not ladies, they are uh, uh, do you understand? So, it, it all those things you need to pay attention to because such person will not give you voice in marriage. And some, some ladies too believe that men, you know, those men, ah, you don't, you don't just act uh, uh, because it's they are doing it because society has made I'll us to believe that, that is good. We should not also dance to that, that to that too. tune. That it should be or is believed, so we can change the narrative. We can change all, the strategy. All men are the same. All all men men are the same. Uh -huh. you know? So may I just say that you can't say that all men are the same. You, even if you, if if Stacey says that all men are the, are same, the same, you can recreate your own world. So when you are seeing the partner behaving in this direction, that ladies are these guys are this, and you are trying to convince such person is not ready to change definitely is going there's there's one thing we call seeing majority and minority yeah. do you understand so your partner is going to see you as those uh, majority. majority and that will definitely nobody wants to enter in marriage that you don't cannot have a say 
or uh, marriage that it is what or God said that works. So such things are what ladies should pay attention to. And of course, a, a prospective uh, spouse should pay attention to because yeah, it kills marriage. You mention of um, disagreement in relationships, yeah. you know, and the truth is, even at times, let's be realistic in relationships, one of two things might happen, mm -hmm. and the guy raises his voice, yeah, or the lady raises her voice. So, are you trying to say this is abnormal relationships, or to what extent can you say it's? It's over the board. Yeah, you see, when you are in a relationship and you are not having disagreement, you are not being truthful, sincere to yourself. When you are in a relationship with someone and everything has been good, good, and good, then there is danger. There is danger. It's a signal that you are not paying attention to because the, the, the first disagreement might put you guys apart. Okay. That's the truth. So, but not that you're not going to have this agreement exactly. because even when you don't have this agreement, it shows that you're not knowing each other well. Mm -hmm. Because this agreement helps us sometimes to know ourselves. So, it exposes our hidden, our hidden potentials. Mm -hmm. And when you try it, when you trash it out constructively, it helps you to build better on those things. Okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Now, when should we or how should we treat disagreements in marriage? Mm -hmm. For instance, now you you we are, you are in a relationship with someone and you do something that the president detests okay. you know calling you yelling at you shouting at you railing curses or all those negative words on you they are not the best verbal word to settle disagreement <laughs> do you understand yes. so using some words sending you to your parents okay. like your father your this all those things they are they are they are sensitive things that you should pay attention to yeah. you are in a relationship someone sent you home mentions your parents not even i do tell i do say that in my relationship i thank god for the person that i married no matter how disagreements we have my our our house dog my <laughs> wife cannot disrespect my house dog no do you do understand yes. and me too anything that concerns her family i got his jealousy because someone that you claim that you love no. you should pay attention to everything around That's that person that. so she, that, that it shows that when you pay attention to that it shows that you're disciplined it yeah. shows that you have I'm manners sure, yeah. it shows that you are mature you understand so those things are what you, you should pay attention to when you have this agreement the manner at which you approach each other do you want to tell me that when you have this agreement with your colleagues at work or you have this agreement with your boss at work are you going to shout or yell at your boss so what you will not do to your senior person outside should not you should see your partner as the most person that you should give oh, regard yeah. to yeah. aside your parents when you are still outside, aside your parents, then the person you want to marry is next if you are in a serious relationship. Okay. I'm not talking of religious body now, as pastor and all that. Okay. But when you are in a relationship, eh, the person that you sleep with, that you wake up with, that you see every day, eh, he has your life, he has the key to your life and destiny. Such person you should give more reference to. And if anything happens, I give you and all that. There are times that you might probably raise your voice to talk about it, but it should not pass ordinary. ordinary. So, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ekudayon. Thank you. So wonderful being here with you. Now, my question is, you, after talking about the details, so this, what comes to my mind is, is it that as of, um, as, um, in, in uh, your relationship, in the, as, yes, is it that everything should be perfect yeah. in the relationship? Well, everything cannot be perfect, but we can work towards perfection. Okay. Do you get that? But, but there are a couple of people that believe it must, the person must be 100 and then uh, and then you know, uh, turn them off. And inequality you know let, 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 let me let me tell you something if you see someone who is looking for a perfect spouse such person needs to get a clear and made such spouse, spouse by him or herself there is no perfect relationship anywhere all those things you see on social media you see on those things even pastors do have problems sometimes mm -hmm. even pastors religious leaders they have problems. CEOs, MDs. Why do you think many people leave work and they cannot go home? Even in the work environment. Yeah, so there are problems that people do encounter, encounter. in relationship. Okay. Do you understand? There's no perfect relationship. There's no perfect human being on earth. The only person that is the only personality that is perfect is God. So having known that there is no perfect relationship, relationship. you can work towards perfecting it. So when you work towards perfecting your relationship, then you pay attention to things. What can I do that will not hurt my partner? What if I say this thing is gonna hurt my partner? 
if i do this it's gonna hurt my partner if i go to this place it's gonna hurt my partner if i do you understand when you now so you pay attention deliberate. you are deliberate with your actions when you are paying attention to those things it helps you to work towards perfection, perfection. but nobody is perfect but we are seeing perfection like this and you are working towards it everything that sounds like a distraction to put you aside from getting to that perfection you, you you do away with them okay. then you discover that you don't have problems so, uh, what about those uh, partners that no matter what you do there is no way you can satisfy them they are never pleased, they are never pleased. Uh, you know there are so that just like talking about graduates do you know nigeria of today you say there is no job there is no this there is no that and all that yes. you know it's not about your certificates now there are many first class students who are not who are not employable there are many graduates who are not employable do you understand so that's why i say i have the mind that irrespective of your age your stature and all that okay. there are men who are not marriage mm -hmm. do you understand so okay. if you uh, th that is not everybody that you can marry and mm -hmm. there is always someone that god has created for everybody so the fact that that person is not good for you does not mean that that person will not get to her match okay. do you understand so, so that is why someone. there's always someone Master but but the fact that it's not marriageable to you or for you does not mean that such person will not get someone if you are too cool like you are a very cool person and you are you are you you you, you want to get married and you get married to someone who is to in quotes please i'm sorry using the word tout mm -hmm. you know a tout will always get someone of his caliber mm -hmm. you always get someone of your caliber just like the cerebral addict that says water. Water. do you understand that is a, a bed of sin feather flocks well, together so it is just your your, your type of person that you get attracted to that you get married to so that's why i say even those graduates that are not employable they still can find something to do if they are not employable to an organization they can create something themselves something so there is good. always something for you but the best thing is finding the right person that's so it. not everybody is marriageable to you until you find your right person really intellectual really intellectual let's go on this break and when we come back Mr. Babajide will be letting us know so he's been really talking about the mentality behind some of this uh, perspective wrong perspective what really causes this wrong perspective in young people you know so he's going to be talking on that and then we'll be signing up let's start this break with right back in, the rest. in life you can never be too sure who to trust. This is the story of Mrs. Ungazi. Mrs. Ungazi just wants to use the ATM. Good afternoon. Let me help you out to draw. You don't need to stress yourself. Okay, please. Why can't I just be kind? Obviously, you're wrong. Oh, no, it's just just a person. No, that commented on that. Wrong. All he needs is a good look at the pen. Like Will he our succeed? story, story really, from the story, story that I gave, I tell you that people such as the lady who is precious to be brought as I never want to say such a thing. For somebody to be such a thing, what we need as a thing. Do not share your card pen with like anyone. Like that. And there are many people Keep who your have account information such private and, and ensure no one is watching you person. while you enter your pen. UBA, Africa's global bank. The story that we talked about, yes. our theme for today, the young lady was like, oh, I, I must know how much is in my boyfriend's account. account. Yes. So who really do you think influenced such mentality? Because there is a lot of young people out yes. there. Yes. With even it's more not just dangerous. Not just for their uh, potential boyfriend account, account no, yeah. uh, details alone. They have some other things. There are some that they want 
um, perfect uh, person. It must be tall. It must, it must be beautiful. It must be dark. It must be dark. It's so pain. Oh, sorry for using that word, but what, what really do you think has influenced this? Well, uh, firstly, let me say that there's nothing bad. There's nothing uh, abnormal in when you have a cravings, when you have some uh, some decisions, some kind of determinations that the person I will marry, criteria, uh, the criteria is, yes, it's not bad. Nothing. It's not bad. But the only tragedy attached to it is that you'll not be doing yourself any good. Okay. Because it affected me actually before I got married. It affected um, so me. I, I, it, 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 that would be the <laughs> You know, it's, it's, it's like an idol. You created a, an image in your heart. You created an idol in your heart. Even this happens to some spiritual people that find spiritual this thing everywhere. Submit a, like, they, like, submit a, a names of people to pastor and pastor says, this is your husband. You do understand. And you already have the mind of this, is the kind of person I want. This is the kind of person I want. And the press, pastor says that, okay, this person that you're talking about, it's like you're kind of paying more attention to this person. And he picks the person for that as your husband, not knowing that he has fixed the problem of your life for you. So there's nothing spoiled, nothing bad in you having that kind of, okay, this person I want. You can pray towards it. Sometimes it happens. It happens you yeah. can pray towards it that God, please, I want this person. Even God, God says we should let our, our expectations be known, no, you know. Yeah. But I can tell you that the what motivates people to act like this sometimes is if you check, they've been disappointed. Hmm. And secondly, they don't have love. If you are a lady and you are demanding to know someone's account details, someone's proper, you want someone to come and declare his, 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 his assets. assets before you accept such person proposal, then you don't love. The, you don't the love is not genuine it's not that is there is something that you love it is not a natural and, flow. In and when the thing you love is no more there the, the love dies. dies so just in few words what is love so i think that on that note we are going to wrap up the program, program. Uh, well love is something that is you, you can define love as it appears to you you know, uh, if you ask someone who enjoys love, who enjoys marriage, who enjoys relationship, you tell you love is good, love is kind, love is awesome, love is beautiful. And if you ask someone who is going through hell in marriage or who is going through hell in relationship, you tell you love is wicked. So you define love as it appears to you, as it, has, as it serves you or according to how it has treated you, how it's treating you so far. So that is, so Javani, what, what, what love is, is a personal definition. Thank you. Thank you so Hi, much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We really appreciate your presence and your friends today. And open we call you again. You're going to You'll be here on Def our invitation. Definitely, I will. Thank you so thank much. You. Next day, please. I enjoyed myself. Yeah, same about? year. I enjoyed myself. Like, this is the best week ever. <laughs> so, okay, I think you know anything from today's program. What are you doing on the well, now I know it is bad for me to just ask my potential spouse now, okay? Please let, um, tell me what, um, come and give your, your, your assets assets, to yes. me or looking for a, a perfect human being. Mm -hmm. So I know right now it's forgot the red right hand. Even if I have this, um, I painted this kind of picture of who I want, the thing is, I make my um, request known to, to God and pray towards it that God should help me in this area. Yes, and for me, if I'll be going home with anything, I'll be going home with the fact that yes, there's no perfect person, but always work on yourself to be that better person, to be that perfect person that you want others to do at and admire. And on that note, we call it a wrap on Niger Trend. That's right. So we'll come your way next week. Always watch Niger Trend. Bye-bye.